so in today's lecture i will be starting with sub algebra and ideals okay and this is the chapter 4 lecture 21 so let me start with the definition of first i will start with the definition of sub algebra okay let l be a lie algebra a sub algebra is a vector subspace k of l where lie bracket this is the lie bracket of x comma y belongs to k for all x comma y belongs to k so here the definition i'll explain you all what is my l this l is a lie algebra right and this k is the sub algebra of this l okay sub algebra is a vector space k of l of this l okay where my x and y this belongs to this k for all x comma y belongs to this k okay please learn this uh, definition next i'll go to ideals now what is ideal definition of ideal let l be a lie algebra let i and j be two ideals then i plus j is equal to what so here my l is lie algebra and i and j are the two ideals and here i plus j is equal to set of x plus y where my x belongs to this i and y belongs to this j okay second one is the lie bracket of i comma j is equal to span of this write it in form in terms of this uh, lie bracket of x comma y where x belongs to i and y belongs to j okay then take this point an ideal of a lie algebra l is a subspace i of l such that lie bracket of x comma y belongs to i for all x belongs to l and y belongs to i so now this is very important i will be proving one ex uh, example for you all show that sl of n comma f is an ideal of gl of n comma f let x belongs to gl of n comma f and y belongs to sl of n comma f okay so let this x belongs to this gl of n comma f and this y belongs to this sl of n comma f okay then traces of uh, this is what lie bracket of x comma y is equal to trace of now this how we have to do x y minus y x is equal to what trace of x y minus trace of y x which is nothing but equal to 0 therefore what is this lie bracket of x comma y belongs to sl of n comma f next example i want you all to prove you have this i want you all to do show that n of n comma f is an ideal of b of n comma f if you all are not able to solve this problem you can just comment below i can give you all the solution okay and thanks for watching i'll end up my lecture here only and next lecture will be on the uh, center of lie algebra then i will be proving one exercise problem 1.5 that is okay thanks for watching okay